When World War I was declared in 1914, it had a negative effect on association football. In some countries, competitions were suspended and players signed up to fight, resulting in the deaths of many players. Frederick Wall, secretary of the Football Association, famously implied Jimmy Hogan was a traitor for spending the duration of World War I in Europe. Topic: Competition. English club Harrogate Town were to play their first ever match on the 5th of September 1914, but the match was cancelled due to the outbreak of the war. Between 1915 and 1919, competitive football was suspended in England. Many players signed up to fight in the war and as a result many teams were depleted, and fielded guest players instead. The Football League and FA Cup were suspended and in their place regional league competitions were set up. Appearances in these tournaments do not count in players' official records. League football did continue in Scotland with the aim of maintaining morale, however the Scottish Cup was not held for five years, even though the Swiss Football League was not suspended. Some 5,800 footballers, out of a total of 8,500 signed up to fight. However, many of the pitches were destroyed 420,000 square feet square meters out of a total of 920,000 square feet square meters had been turned into potato fields. After the outbreak of war in 1914, the Swiss national side did not compete again until 1920. Topic: Christmas truce. The Christmas truce was a series of brief, unofficial cessations of hostilities occurring on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day of 1914 between German and British or French troops in World War One, particularly that between British and German troops stationed along the Western Front. During the truce, a game of football was played between the British and German soldiers. <laughs> Fighting footballers <laughs> The football battalion On 6 September 1914, author Arthur Conan Doyle made a direct appeal for footballers to volunteer for service. Many players heeded the calls, and a special football battalion was formed, as part of the Middlesex Regiment. The battalion was led by Frank Buckley, who later estimated that over 500 of the battalion's original 600 men had died. There were over 5,000 men playing professional football in Great Britain 1914, and of those, 2,000 joined the military services. <inaudible> Edinburgh City Pals The first of the footballers' battalions was raised in Edinburgh in November 1914 by Lieutenant Colonel Sir George McRae. The 16th Royal Scots included players and supporters from Hearts, Hibernian, Falkirk and Wraith Rovers, and recruitment of 1350 officers and men was completed in only six days. Decorated footballers A number of British soldiers received medals for bravery during World War I, including Bernard Van MC and VC, Donald Simpson Bell VC, William Angus VC, Jimmy Spears M, Tim Coleman M, and David Glenn M. 
Others to receive decoration include Lee Richmond Ruse and Philip F. Fullard MC and AFC. Other players who were not awarded medals have also been honored, such as Walter Tull, who was honored on both the Eris Memorial and at Northampton Town's Sixfield Stadium. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Players killed in action. Many football players, both amateur and professional, lost their lives. Larrett Roebuck was the first player from the English League to die, on 18 October 1914. Scottish side Heart of Midlothian lost seven players. Another Scottish side, Brecon City, lost six players. English team Bradford City, for example, lost nine players, first team players Bob Torrance, Jimmy Spears, Evelyn Lintott, James Conlin, James Comrie, Gerald Kirk, and reserve players George Draycott, Ernest Goodwin, and Harry Potter. William Baker, a member of the Plymouth Argyle team that won the Southern League in 1913, was killed in Serre during the Battle of the Somme. Topic Memorials. On the 21st of October 2010, the Footballers Battalion's memorial was unveiled at Longueville, France, near Delville Wood, to commemorate those from the Footballers Battalions who had fought and died in the Great War. In October 2018, it was announced that in November 2018, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the end of the war, a number of clubs would plant trees as part of a football remembers campaign. Topic. See also Association football during World War II England national football team results unofficial matches Scotland national football team results unofficial matches